Hey guys, c Drama Invasion here and welcome back to a new video. This week I would have to say is one of the most crammed weeks when it comes to dramas airing. So lots of dramas just dropped and I feel like that's because recently we had a rumor that there's over 200 to 300 backlogged or shelved dramas that hasn't aired from Tencent and ICE. So it makes sense that they're trying to rush out a lot of these dramas. And you can definitely see it with Aichi Yi, for example. The first drama that aired is on January 14th. We have Sassy Beauty. It's 24 episodes. It's a historical rom-com fantasy drama starring a rookie actress and idol called Snow Kong. So lots of the girls from The Nine had dramas like this where they just got dropped overnight. And yes, it does get subbed, but it's all in one go. Most of them to be like these web series, rom-com, lower budget type of dramas. This one stars, like I said, Snow Kong or Kong Shui Er and Yang Zhe Dong. This is a story following a girl who is a beauty blogger who accidentally enters the world of a VR ancient Chinese style beauty game. She's quite privileged and she kind of acts like it. So she's not your typical naive girl. She comes from a wealthy background and she always kind of speaks her mind. But in this game, she's actually a lowly maid. So you see how things can get complicated for her. And the only way to get back to her real world is to beat this game and follow little task. So I watched like around four to five episodes and it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. I thought that the acting, because she's a rookie, um, I kind of just gave her a pass. So it doesn't stand out, but it's not like the worst thing I've ever seen. I think the concept is super fun if you're looking for a lighter drama and you're missing one of those um, Zhao Lu Si type of Oh My Emperors time travel romance vibe, then maybe check this one out. I think it is better than Unique Lady, which had Gong Jun as a rookie actor back in the day and Jay Chang. So if you liked that drama, then check this one out since I think this one is better. Of course, we have to talk about the long-awaited Mirror Twin Cities or Mirror A Tale of Twin Cities. This one aired on Tencent and Yuku on January 16th, starring Li Yifeng and Yuki Chen. This is a historical wuxia fantasy drama. This tells this tale of a prince and a crown princess, both from different realms, and they met thousands of years ago. They fell deeply in love, but due to some political situation, Bad timing and cruel fate, they separate and meet again a hundred years later. Next is one not a lot of people know about, and it's Operation Special Warfare. This was announced to randomly air on CCTV, ICE, and WeTV. It's an action military romance drama, which stars Hu Bingqing and Van Gogh Gao. As the title suggests, this is going to focus on a special forces team. I'm excited to watch this, but I'm a little bit hesitant just because I'm still watching Ace Tropes and I need to catch up to that. And this one's also 40 episodes. But do share your thoughts on it if you've seen it. Also on the 18th is Aichi Yi's first ever 2022 light on series, which is called Panning. This was supposed to come out like the last week of January. However, they postponed it and now it's airing. So this one stars Arthur Chen and Liao Fan. It's a adventure mystery horror crime drama that's set in 1986 when the male lead's brother goes on a hunt to find gold, but then he goes missing. And apparently, a lot of different travelers say that there's a mysterious thing about this place and everyone goes missing or you don't really hear much about them. And on his journey to go on this adventure, see what happened to his brother, he ends up meeting a bunch of other people, similar miners, who are trying to look for this treasure. The next drama also dropped on January 18th. This one dropped on CCTV and Yuku. It's called A Chance Meeting. This is a drama starring Wallace Chung and Li Xiaoran. It's their reunion drama after Too Late to Say I Love You. This is a romance melodrama about a single mother who has a son with a natural heart disease and a doctor who's trying to fund a free hospital or a program for these types of patients and he meets her and chooses her son as one of his first candidates. He meets the female lead and eventually falls for her after seeing her struggle through a lot in life. Honestly, this is not my cup of tea at all, but I'm still going to check it out. And if I do end up finishing it, it will be on a upcoming monthly reviews video, probably in February. 
Last but not least of the dramas that aired is City of Streamer. This one airs on January 20th. It stars Jing Tian and Timmy Shu. This is set in the Shanghai in the 20th century. It's a Chinese Republican era with a smart female lead and a arrogant male lead. Her family was actually framed, so she decides to embark on a road of revenge and she successfully infiltrates to the male leads home as his private tutor and she starts catching feelings for him but of course there's a lot of drama going on with them on both sides and we also have politics which goes hand in hand with conspiracies and scheming now onto dramas that recently released new stills posters or started filming the first one is ite's suspense mini drama back for you with angela baby wang an yu and special appearances from Zhang Yujian and Cheng Xiao. No synopsis found on this, but this will probably become part of the Aichi Light On series for the end of the year. We also have Sha Hua, a new Tencent romance drama starring Jerry Yan and Shu Rohan. Also, nothing was revealed about this except for the cast. In other cast announcements news, we have Guess Who I Am, a Yuku drama starring Zhang Yuxi and Wang Zuqi, which just started filming. This is a thriller romance with a rich male lead, and honestly, I don't think I need to know much about this because I really like Wang Zuqi and think his performances are quite good. And I really like the new genre of like suspense or thriller action romances that's been happening very recently. Speaking of suspense romance, the web drama He Who Is Dangerous To Me, starring Li Mojie and Fan Jixing, announced that they finally wrapped up filming. We also have the first rounds of rating for Zhao Jinmai and Bai Jingting's drama Reset. It started off really strong with an 8.2 on Douban, and Douban is more critical, with many of the dramas ranking at 5 or 6. Cannot wait to watch this. I'm just waiting for all the subs and episodes to come out because it's a bit shorter and I feel like with this type of mood and genre, there's going to be so many cliffhangers that I just have no patience to wait for. So I'll just binge it when it all comes out. So the first and most prominent drama rumor is that Men in Love is going to be Hu Yitian's next drama and the female lead is supposed to be Liang Jia. This is supposed to start filming around the end of February to March. So it's about the romance between a magazine editor and a gym teacher. I feel like what's a little bit funny for me is that Lang Jia and Xing Fei for some reason always has the same like cast members and they just like swap the male leads or end up working with each other's male leads in previous drama roles. A very interesting coincidence since they both worked with Xing Zaolin. And now Hu Yitian. Fun fact, this is actually Liang Jie's second drama with Hu Yitian. However, in the other drama called Handsome Siblings, she wasn't paired up with him. And we have some leaked stills of the modern romance drama called Heart or Twilight Heart. There's no official English title at the moment. But this one stars Angela Baby and Ren Jialin or Alan Ren. So I think a month or two months ago, I talked about how Angela Baby was fighting for a lot of roles. One was for My Fireworks with Yang Yang as the female lead in that. And her second option is this one. She wanted to be in two dramas and she was kind of in between them. But turns out, I guess she picked this one. This is a love story between a mental health counselor and an author. Based off of the leaked stills, I really, really do like the styling for this one. She looks beautiful and rich. They look pretty good together. This drama is currently filming and it seems to be one where they're probably not going to release promotional stills or anything until maybe Valentine's Day or those special days or maybe even until it finishes wrapping up. Last but not least is another rumored production called You Are My Desire. It's a modern romance youth campus drama starring Shang Hanzhi and Zhou Yiran. And according to rumors, filming is probably going to start in March in Shanghai for 100 days and this will have 30 episodes. Let me know your thoughts on this week's drama news and what are your thoughts on the dramas that you have seen that I mentioned. 
And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, or if you have, but you haven't turned on notification bells to all, make sure you do that. As usual, names, titles of dramas, links to previous videos and playlists is in the description box below. And if you want to donate or buy me a Kofi, it's much appreciated. And links to that is in the description box as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.